Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I'm very, very excited because I got a package from the folks over at Relink Medical who reached out to me and they wanted to support the channel in any way they could. And I came up with this idea that the, probably the best way for them to, uh, you know, support the channel is to give me content. In other words, let's find things that you guys probably aren't going to sell or things that you do sell and you have a lot of and send them over to me and I'll do videos about those items. And they thought it was an excellent idea. So they packaged a bunch of stuff up in here. I don't really completely know what's in this box. So we're going to find out together what Relink Medical sent to me. These guys are awesome. I'll leave their information in the description below. Relink is an interesting uh, third party. Not only do they repair, but they also sell equipment and supplies and parts. And uh, they buy and sell a lot of used medical equipment in mass. So they do auctions and stuff, which is really cool. I wish I had the ability to buy groups of items at auction because that would give me plenty of content for you guys. But uh, in the meanwhile, Relink is partnering up with me and they're sending me stuff so I can do videos on. So I'm not going to do all those videos today, but we're going to open up the box and see what they sent over, okay? All right, now this is a rather large box, okay? I'm kind of excited because anything could be in the box. Oh, packing peanuts, uh-oh. Okay, I can tell already my living room is going to turn into Christmas from all the packing peanuts. So I think I'm going to have to stop the video, empty out some packing peanuts, and then resume. Okay, here we go, guys. I finally got a lot of the packing material pulled out, and I'm going to unpack this right here on the back of my TV. This is the TV that's in for repair. Holy cow, Relink sent me a lot of stuff. So let's, uh, let's see what we got. I think most of the stuff I have no videos on at all yet, which is going to be super cool. Super cool for all of us. Alright. Well, I can tell right now. There we go. The first one. Yes. Okay. You guys probably recognize this quite well. This is an Alaris Brain. Um, this is the 8015, so I would love to do a video where I'm going to open this one up. We're going to explain the different components, what they do, how it functions, and common places where they fail. So that's going to be a cool one. Oh, wow, this is a big one. Be careful if I don't cut something like me. Holy cow. So, this is one of the, the beautiful parts about this industry and about this group is that there's, uh, there's lots of people that are willing to support us, and there's many different ways to um, sponsor social media like the Better Biomed channel or the Bearded Biomed uh, podcast and stuff. There's many different ways to help sponsor them, and it doesn't always have to do with cash. Sometimes it can do with an invite for a tour, or like me, you give me some broken stuff, and I am happy as it gets, all right? Okay, so this box here, we've got two components. This is going to work out really good because uh, I don't have a huge amount of space at the moment, but uh, this is an MP50 Philips patient monitor. And this, just like the Alara system, has got a lot of intricacies. So we are going to go through this guy in some detail. And I'm going to talk to you guys about areas where I know that these guys fail pretty heavily. And we're going to talk about all the different boards on the inside. Because many components to this you can get and you can fix. So that is very cool. Okay, so we've got a Philips MP50, an Alaris 8015. And... That does it for this box, which is good, so I can uh, 
pack this guy up and get it going. But both of these are beautiful condition. I mean, you know, expect what I would get for a used piece of medical equipment, especially for free. But uh, the cool thing about them is, from what I can tell, they're going to be very functional and serviceable. So the cool thing about donating equipment to a channel like mine is that when I'm done with them, these are going to get donated to somebody else, probably to a technical college. We've got several different really good technical colleges here in Texas, and they're always looking for more equipment. Sometimes even broken equipment can be a real good learning opportunity, which is why we're doing it here on the channel. But uh, nonetheless, to give students a chance to tear something apart, get in there and see what's going on with real medical equipment with a real low liability rate. I mean, if it's, if it's in a hospital, they need it. But here, obviously nobody needs this. So if somebody breaks something on accident, who cares? It's all good. So Relink Medical, I'm gonna leave a link to them in the video description. They have done absolutely awesome by me. They've supported me. And I would really like to thank them publicly for, for what they've done. Look forward to videos on these systems in the future. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Give me a like and thank you to Relink. Check them out in the video description. They do some awesome stuff.